Here he is. And here he is. Hey, buddy. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, good. It was uh, it was fun to see you play. Um, what did you think about that uh, Mirage smoke? You had a little bit. Of, uh, was it special? Did you see it before? No, I mean, maybe I saw it on radio like a few months ago, but it's okay. Yeah. Nobody uses it, it's okay. If everyone uses okay. <laughs> it. Um, so, congratulations. Three and zero. After all, you make it to the big stage. Uh, but talk us through kind of the rebound because NIP was surprisingly good against you guys on Mirage. What was said within the team? Uh, we thought they unleashed the beast and that kind of happened. You were the MVP of Ancient, so talk me through the game plan for Ancient. Uh, I mean, on Mirage, we just lost the uh, middle control. They started to take it on timing, and we just were lost. There were so many times, 5 on 4, and Bit died on short, and Boomage didn't give up a size, so it was unlucky. Simple coming into, uh, coming into but the wait. stage of the media. Wait, wait you got more? <laughs> Sorry. Ancient. Ancient. How we start ancient? Yeah, because we start CT, guys. When you start CT, it's easy on ancient. That's it? Yeah. It's on yeah. CT? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's okay. I got another another question for you then. Is, is CT side as strong as people say right now? Is it tough to play all T sides in pretty much all maps? Yeah, because Valve don't know how to fix this map. I mean, they don't do anything. We remember Vertigo, they changed it like five times per few months. They never changed uh, A side. I mean, they did some small change on A side on ancient, but overall they don't care about this map. Anything in particular you, you'd like change? Yeah, just A side. It's pretty hard to plant bomb when y you can wall bank through the smoke from CT, from uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. Uh, donut. Donut. donut and the yeah. yeah. other side, yeah. Tempo. All right. Tempo, tempo. What, well, I'm curious, Simple, because coming into this tournament, uh, a lot of us, uh, I wouldn't say you were a question mark, but we didn't really know how strong Navi were. And I think what we've seen so far is that you're playing playing well, but you will still be better. We just talked about you having a, there's a slow start to the tournament. Your rating is still 1.22, so you're just, you know, just good. But do you feel that we've seen the best of Navi, or are we just getting warmed up? Uh, we're just getting warm, uh, warmed up. We always uh, get better form during official games, especially at LAN. So we, I hope, hopefully we're going to play, play much better and i mean why should i step up if there is a bit that, that's future, right. future mvp of the major yeah that's my question talk talk to us about bit he's i guess by by some means inexperienced but he's already won it all is he only getting better from now on yeah he just uh, he just need work for, for his game sense same uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding uh, overall his same is insane and he need to work uh, of understanding of games that's what we help and as you see every month he's uh, he understood more about cs okay so uh there was a blade interview where you said you are 10% off. Where do you put yourself on, like, uh, comparably to the Stockholm Major, that you're 10% more but uh, or less, but you have more experience coming into this one? Where would you put that percentage? Do you have one, uh, if you could say it one right now? Uh, for example, if we had uh, on Major before yeah. the playoffs, like, maybe 90, 95. Right now we have, like... Uh, I don't know, like 80, 85, for example. All right, all but right, uh, right. because of, as you said, of our experience uh, during the playoffs, we're probably going to increase our... Okay. Experience. All right. Uh, how much are you looking forward to play on stage here in Belgium? There's going to be so many people. I know they're super excited. And for you as a competitor, I mean, that's what you live for, right? How, how many people? Uh, I think 12,000 on Saturday and Sunday. Not bad. But then you have be... to make it to Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, we will. Mm -hmm. we <laughs> will. I mean, it's uh, quite interesting because I think it's the first big tournament in Belgium. And just want to see how fans going to react, how they're going to behave, how Belgian people behave. Yeah, do you want to know? Because I saw the dark side of Belgium. Yeah. So, yeah. Why? I don't know. Yeah, let's not you talk about everyone. that. <laughs> I am Belgian. We'll leave that at that. Let's take a look at the results for uh, today because a lot happened. Um, Sasha, I'd like to ask you about some of the results today and what you were surprised by. Uh, I was surprised by... No, Spirit? not Team Spirit. Not Action. I was surprised by Newcomb. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, it was an uh, interesting comeback for Heroic. They were losing 14-11 and they were playing like T side. I mean, for some teams it's uh, easier side, but overall they won so many good rounds with great opening by Stown and other players. Uh, Copenhagen Flames, uh, I think it's uh, it was 50-50 game between Spirit and Copenhagen Flames. I mean, I put Spirit on 0-3 because it's 0-3, <laughs> 3-0, you never know, but overall, yeah, they they deserve this. Uh, let it. It's already legend spot. Yeah. yeah. Before it wasn't legend because I saw some teams. Oh, we we are legends now, it's but no, legend. it's just a legends. Yeah. 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 Old school, right? It, yeah. It's much harder, or much easier now to, to get into legends. What about uh, everyone else's O3 pick in, in Imperial? Are you surprised they're able to uh, to still be so competitive? Uh, yeah. I mean, I was surprised uh, stage before, uh, but right now, yeah. I mean, it was 16, 13, 16, 14, I guess, for yeah. them against mm -hmm. but New Eagles. But yeah, like 
I hope I hope they will uh, get one or two more maps for yeah. next game as well. I got one more for you because I always like to talk to the players themselves because you're the one practicing against all the other teams. You have a pretty good grasp on who's strong and who's not. In practice leading up to the major, is there one team that you thought, okay, these are going to be tough to beat or we have to watch out for them? Like if you had to pick one team. No? <laughs> no, in practice like it was. Usual in practice, even if you lose your practice something for yourself you know sure but overall i don't know like uh, everyone played decent it was like uh, maybe face and ends i guess yeah i think they have more ch like face and heroic have the most chances playoffs after it's like g2 uh and us i mean we are favorites of course sure. we're defending our title that's why i'm not is that something that motivates you last time you you played heroic you lost uh, face took the the world number one spot for you do you have a, a target on the back right now yeah, yeah yeah i mean i want to face them in front of people and no just want to play the prepared team okay okay uh devil uh, another team oh actually we have the schedule you can react to that that's yes. much better let's pull it up because i'm super excited to see what's happening we have some teams like vitality whose fate still hangs in the bounds right and they're playing big okay so copenhagen flames uh, versus face clan so the flames get another chance to qualify but it's against flames Ooh. nip furia ends heroic and then big vitality g2 esports outsiders <gasps> and cloud imperial oh my god i think it was a nice nice game wow yeah it's very good yeah, is there one game in particular you're looking forward to tomorrow on your, your day off uh yeah i will watch g2 against outsiders and uh face face against copenhagen flames yep yeah yeah, yeah. Pim? What, do you, what do we what do you make of, of copenhagen flames i'm curious like is, is that a team you've been practicing against uh, and are you surprised uh, they're good? No, we don't actually practice them, but uh, yeah, I'm always surprised how they play in group stage. And I mean, I, I want them to show something in playoffs as well. It's going to be fun because every time they finish like 3 0 or 3 1, but uh, after they have like sometimes close games, sometimes it's easy for their opponents. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Pimp, mm -hmm. that B stream, those matches, we, you know, G2 Outsiders, one of them, no longer in the major. Vitality, big. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, we, you, we've said it a million times already. Cruel Mistress, Swiss, and Buchholz. And yeah, it's pretty insane. Insane, actually, these matches. It, it, it gives you goosebumps in a yeah. way, because right? there's no easy games at all at the major. As, as Symbol so rightfully said, right, everyone coming into the stage are good. Everyone deserves to be here. The big Vitality is interesting. I think Big had higher hopes coming in. They qualified being 3-0 in the RMR. Vitality as well. They played so well during the Challenger stage, but haven't really lived up to the expectations. So that 12 o'clock game on the B stream, that is interesting. And then I can't help to look at Ens and Heroic as well. Oh, yeah. You said it right. Two teams that could go into the playoff, two teams that could be good in the arena. We have seen them play a couple of weeks ago yeah. uh, during the Blast Show where Ents got the better of Heroic, but I feel that's a, a grudge match. I feel that's a very interesting one. Let's not forget that Snappy and Kadian used to play on the same team. They used to fight for who was going to be the in-game leader in that team and ended up being Kadian who took lead in that one. So I, I feel for Snappy and, and he probably has something to say about that. Snappy, yeah, for sure. It's going to be a great day once again. Any final words, Sasha, before we see you in the big arena? Um, see you. See you. Okay, see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pimp, as well as Devil. We're going to sign off, but we'll be back